We were kind of fully expecting the full Android 12 release, but Beta 5 has arrived instead, which means we're ready to give you the lowdown on all the best new features and functions. So without any further ado, let's dive in. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Before we get into the meat of these new changes and tweaks though, it's worth noting that Beta 5 of Android 12 is the RC or release candidate, which in basic terms means that this is probably the closest to the stable release that we'll see until that fairly obvious stable release in the next few weeks. It's effectively ready for prime time and unless there are any game breaking bugs or not quite finished features, then this is more or less Android 12 in its entirety. Even so, there's actually quite a lot new here and stuff that we think you'll be really welcomed or will be welcomed by Pixel and Android fans. After being spotted in progress with previous releases, the Universal Device Search feature is now fully live and working in Android 12 Beta 2 within the Pixel Launcher's app drawer. So when swiping up into the app drawer while using the default Pixel Launcher, you can use the top search bar widget to locally search for apps, contacts, and some other things with relative ease. There's also the option to search with Google should you want more than just local results, you're also able to set the keyboard to always show when swiping up into the app drawer to make this even quicker. While the preferences panel allows you to add finer controls over what will appear in your device searches. Hinted at in the announcement of Material U back at IO 2021, the highly anticipated Google Clock widgets which have been teased in videos and trailers have arrived with Beta 5. There are four widgets in total. There's an analog, a digital, stack, and world clocks. The last one will show time zones outside of your home region if you've added them within the Google Clock app for quick reference. The theme will also automatically change slightly between the two widgets. As with just about everything in Android 12, all of the colors are a key component, but the colors appear to be more directly pulled from your device wallpaper rather than the basic color scheme, which is determined by your device system theme as part of the dynamic colors and material you update. The Google Clock is yet another app that has picked up a fairly substantial material U update and UI overhaul in Beta 5. The app includes dynamic color tweaks and tuning with all toggles and accenting adhering to that wallpaper pulled theme. Rounded corners play a big part with the theme in extending to all toggles and preset alarms. The bottom navbar also gets a little softening as when you've selected a section, a pill shaped highlighted icon will also be present. But adding to that, there's a lovely little animation to initiate when you're switching between alarm, clock, time, stopwatch, and bedtime. Also, a neat little Easter egg of sorts is that if you have a lock screen widget on your home screen and then swipe up and exit from the clock tab, you'll get an incredibly slick animation that folds the app into the widget, which is another extra delightful touch. Google has clearly spent a ton of time with the clock and alarms in Android 12 Beta 5, with a brand new UI also coming, allowing you to snooze or stop a preset alarm on your device. It's not much of a change, but it does fit with the rest of the material you redesign of the Clock app. Much like the rest of the other stock apps in Android 12 that have been redesigned to better suit material U, Beta 5 also brings us an updated calculator app. The redesign starts with all of the keys, now with circular shapes that will mimic the pin entry screen a little bit better but with slightly different animations when pressing those keys. The expressions are also hued to align with the rest of your theme, while the number pad is plain and functional. The AC and equal keys are also more prominently themed with a color to differentiate between these two important function keys. Making it even easier to share things with Android users in your vicinity, the nearby share pop-up now includes an everyone toggle when you tap the quick settings toggle. This replaces the all contacts option which is now just contacts rather than some contacts seen prior. The pop-up UI is also more rounded to better suit the rest of the material you make over with animations subtly indicating or highlighting your preference when selected. The lock screen always on display is receiving some extra fine tuning compared to previous updates with the large digital clock moving slightly further down the display and closer to the padlock lock device indicator. On top of that, the date is now slightly larger and in a more prominent upper left position, but it seems as though local weather conditions are omitted with this update, and it's unclear if they will return in the full Android 12 release. On top of those changes, notifications have also been moved down to a slightly more central position, away from the clock and that, those date widgets. These changes are very minor and make very little difference, but the removal of temperature and weather information is a frustrating one, 
even though it may potentially be temporary. We lost out on the cards and passes power button long press in Android 12, but the new solution is to add lock screen toggles for similar quick access. Following on for the addition of a wallet icon on the lock screen, there is a new device controls icon on the left of your lock screen that will give you quick access to any and all of your connected smart home tech. The pop-up menu is the exact same as seen when tapping the quick settings toggle with any connected smart home tech able to be controlled here after you've entered your device pin or unlocked your device using biometrics. You might argue that the at a glance widget has been a stalwart of the pixel launcher for some time and doesn't need to be changed. However, it has received some of its own attention in beta 5 and maybe not for the better at this stage. The time has been removed and it now just includes the day and date information. It's smaller and in an upper left position which does mimic the lock screen somewhat. Weather conditions as well and upcoming calendar events are glaring omissions in what feels like a substantial step backwards in many ways. We have some good news though as there might be some more ongoing work to come with this widget. Accessing the customized screen shows what appears to be some unfinished options and toggles that are unavailable. However, none of these appear to be live in Android 12 Beta 5 yet and toggling them doesn't actually do anything. So let's hope that the full release returns the existing customization options we've all become accustomed to. Small by any stretch of the imagination, but there is a new animation when viewing or adjusting the system navigation menu for gesture navigation. It's a little bit cleaner and there are some changes to the animated UI that is shown, plus the animated hand has been removed here too for an overall cleaner aesthetic. After launching the Android 12 Easter egg in Beta 4, Beta 5 is adding yet another layer to the popular, not so well hidden secret with a home screen widget that gives you access to paint chips that tell you the dynamic color palette material you is using on your device. You need to activate the Easter egg by heading to settings, about phone, Android version, and then tap Android 12 until the pop-up appears. Turn the clock hands to 12 and you'll get that Android 12 logo with dynamic color bubbles Easter egg. Now that with that done, you'll be able to add a new Android S Easter egg from the widgets panel to your home screen that shows dynamic color selections. Tapping any color square just allows you to quickly share with your contact. Lockdown mode just turns off notifications and disables biometric unlocking of your device until you enter a pin and access your device again. In Android 12 Beta 5, the feature is enabled by default and lives permanently in the power menu. You've probably never used the feature before, but it is a little bit annoying that you can't disable it even if you try to search through the settings menu. Although you do not need to use it, it is still a bit of a confusing inclusion for most people out there, we're sure. So from what you've seen thus far, what is your favorite new feature or features in Android 12 Beta 5? Be sure to let us know down in the comments sections below. And if this video manages to reach say 3000 likes, then we'll also share another of our new and exclusive Android 12 wallpapers. So be sure to share this video with as many people as possible. And if you want our previous designs, you can just check the link in the description. As always though, until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.